individuals should not be concerned about eating biotech foods. There are no significant differences between biotech foods and conventionally grown foods. Novel techniques have rarely been enthusiastically received. Um, pasteurization of milk, for example, even eliminated life-threatening pathogens. But for a long time after its introduction, it was viewed suspiciously by consumers. We researchers and scientists have not really explained that well to consumers. And if we do that and explain to consumers what the technology is, what are the benefits that they get, they are really very open to it. Each food is evaluated for toxicity, for safety, and allergenicity. The same standards of safety are mandated for all foods, food ingredients, and feeds, regardless of the method and technique by which they are produced or manufactured. Genetically enhanced foods have no significant differences in nutrition, in other characteristics. They rely on the safe history of use of their traditional counterpart. The products are better characterized. There is more predictability in the whole process and a more straightforward safety assessment process. Most products do not become widely accepted unless people value it and, and like to use it. Look at the iPod. It's become the MP3 player choice that everyone uh, wants to use. Same with Ag Biotech. If the farmers did not see value, if they didn't benefit in some way, they would not be employing the technology. Biotechnology now has been in place for nearly 25 years. Almost every seed that we grow in today's world has been hybridized in some way. I don't think there's a farmer in this state that doesn't use some form of biotech. It's a useful technology and it should be available to all users, including those in, in lesser developed countries. Many scientists in Central and South America, in Africa, in China, and all over, in most of Asia, biotech solutions are being worked on. It is widely applied and widely accepted. There are very few countries around the world where there are not at least one or two uh, biotech crops that are currently in the ground.